Hi everyone, this is Sheena from For the Love of Paper and I'm going to be doing a collage and I'm using this old school records uh, book that I've collaged in before. This is the spread I had done before. Um, so I'm just gonna be working in this today. I do have my like tin of Tim Holtz stuff and I also have my trays as well. Let me just zoom you in a little bit. There we go. So that's what I'm gonna be working in. These were, uh, I got a set of these that were like someone had already collaged to like school records, sports and stuff like that in. The base of the paper is this like ledger um, here. And I just use that as the background and then collage on top of it. So I think it's great for authentic Tim Holtz, uh, grungy style and just using what's already been created as the base. So um, I haven't really planned out what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna pull some pieces and uh, create a collage. And I will also pull a, um, probably a Tim Holtz doll or something as part of I could go that route and use a lady, actually. Maybe I will do that, because that's a little bit different than I did the last time. Do a little bit more of a, um, different take, since uh, this would be a new spread. I'm just looking for some pieces here. Maybe a little bit more feminine. This one I feel is too bold. So I don't know if I slide that, if you guys can kind of see what I'm flipping through here. Is that pink? A little bit. Um, I don't know what that's from. I don't know that it's Tim Holtz, but from some type of ephemera set. Oh, I love that. Yeah, so I'm just gonna uh, kind of leaf through here and pull some pieces to make a collage. Also use the trays that I have all the pieces on. I hope you had a great Labor Day. I'm actually filming this on Labor Day. Um, nothing big slept in and spent the day with a friend, so, um, no, uh, yeah, so, just a nice day of rest for me, and back to work tomorrow. I've been purging, I think I mentioned this, I've been purging my, um, uh, craft area and I gave a lot of weight to a friend the other day which felt amazing to clean space out you know whenever you start going through stuff and you find stuff that you uh, forgot you had because you bought it and then bought more and bought more and then it got tucked away yeah I um, totally had a moment of being annoyed with myself it's, because what I found was a ton of tea dyed stuff that I had bought and forgot all about. I'm not tea dyed, coffee dyed. And it, like I found it and I likely smelt it before I actually found it because it smells amazing. I don't know why. That just kind of shows me. I had too much stuff. So I purged a lot and now I feel like I'm getting to the point of having things that I just really like um, that I really want to use so hopefully um, I start to pull some of those pieces out and you see them as well I'm thinking this don't really match That's okay for my 
the bigger pieces. I don't even know where these are coming from. Oh, back here, okay. I do have these strips. I don't know that I want to use that. All right, well, let's start with this. Oh, I see something here. It's um, the, maybe I can cut that into little pieces and almost put a piece there and a piece here or something. I like that. Is there any other one like that? That's floral. I don't think so. All right. So I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna tuck that in there because I had thought about using it if I went more like a grungy style. Let me see if I can pick a lady. But yeah, I might've said this, I might've not, I don't remember, but it was like three boxes and like a Marshall size bag. Um, full of stuff that I eliminated. I just wanna see these little wallpaper cutouts. Maybe one of these would go, okay. This one is so large. Maybe. This one's a little bit, well, that's massive. I was going to say it's a little bit brighter, but it's huge. I don't think I can get away with that big of a piece on there. We'll just use the smaller one. And then a person. I think I said before this is from uh, this case is from Amazon I kind of like that because the flowers in her hair let's see what that looks like I have a lot more room beneath me around me in here a little bit. Hmm. Maybe she should be here and this could be up here like that or something of that sort. Might you more in frame. Something's throwing me off. I'm not sure what it is. Like that. Where does this page go to? It's hard to see where it starts and stops. How about more like that? have that there. I need some little pieces now. So I'm going to pull out my trays. Let's see here. That shouldn't be in there, but it is. Oops. I want something that has a, um, What's this? No, it's not the right kind of flower. Something that has uh, a butterfly would be nice, but I don't like that color. Hmm. 
Hmm. Here, I want something that's not square. I want something that's more like abstract, like this piece here for over in here. Not too bad. Just something different. I'm not really seeing a big, like, pink butterfly. Most of these are Tim Holtz pieces, so they don't really have that more pink style. I, if you hear something in the background, I have a fan on like full blast, my air conditioner on full blast because this week is going to be hot. And I'm trying to get this place cold off before we even get there. Nope. All right, let's go a little bit. These are all like labels and pieces. I don't think these are gonna be anything that I want. No, what's this? An owl, a yellow butterfly, okay. Oh, what's this right here? Let's see. I almost feel like that fits more in theme than this one and brings the colors together better. I don't know, I like that. thinking I feel like I should put some like burgundy to her or something um, and I can do that with maybe some gelatos or I'm trying to think where my um, Tim Holtz crayon things are but I actually really like this. Yeah, let me see if I have where these do are. And if I have the right kind of color to. This is like a pink. And I think that eggplant, that's gonna be purple. Peppercorn brown. Hazelnut, so I'm thinking that's the eggplant. What was this one? Thistle. What color is thistle? That kind of looks like a gray brown. Let me see what this looks like. On a piece of scrap of on a piece of like scrap paper. I can do anything with that. I know it looks terrible right now on the camera, but there's my water bottle. Mm, I can use this thing actually. I just want to add like a little color to her. Let's see what can I turn it off with? Where's my wipes? Just 
grabbing a wipe. Too much water, maybe. But it is working. Just like a little tint or hint of the pink is all I'm really looking for. Oops, I just dropped it. Yeah, I think that's better. I don't want to take it away. We could use a little bit more right there. There we go. All right. So now it just has like a just a light hint of pink to that. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and start putting this together. Um, I don't need this. And glue some of these on. I think I'm going to use art glitter glue because most things are like a cardstock material. And just start layering this up. So with this, no, this one first. Whoa, that's a big bubble. Yeah, so I, whenever I de-stashed, I went through paper, fabrics, laces, washi tape. Um, uh, paper pads of all sizes like a lot of different things and um i think the only thing i haven't gone through is um i have some boxes that are old stamps and accents and stuff like that that are like higher um on higher shelves like kind of more decorative but there is stuff in them that I haven't gone through yet but yeah it feels so nice to have gotten rid of a lot of stuff and it makes me be happy about the stuff I have and more inclined to use it I think and you, I'm sure you other crafters may what is that Sorry, there's something under my nail. I don't know what that was. Um, when you start, you kind of just like start to build your like what you have, your product. And I happen to be a Stampin' Up consultant. I'm sure I said this before, like at least two times and made cards and went to card parties and stuff like that. So a lot of what I originated with was stamping up stuff. And so I don't do that anymore. I don't, I have some like wood stamps that I use every now and then, but definitely not like the sentiment stamps and stuff like that. So, um, and I probably could have sold some of it, but that takes time and effort and it just felt better getting rid of it. So this is a little like on itself crooked because it's stuck here. I don't know if I really want to, oh, okay. It's not that bad. Just so if it looks crooked, that's slightly why because the page itself from the glue prior is a little crooked. But yeah, to have gotten rid of, now I know what I have. It's easier 
to wrap things. I think I still could do some more for sure, but I'm also, uh, I might have showed this in a video the other day. I think I did creating ephemera holders for myself and, um, you know, another thing that I bought and I forgot about, I took all this effort into punching these holes into the ephemera holder that I made and put like ring, like the, uh, like the clip rings, the metal clip rings on them. And I have a cinch machine and tons of coils and I could have totally just cinched that together, that book. And of course, the cinch is way over on the other side of the room where other things are being kept and forgot all about it. So it's just kind of like things like that, you know, would have been way less effort and something I purchased, but not in use. I'm glad there's that little gap there because I'm gonna need to slide that underneath there just a little bit in that space. It's gonna go there. I do think those colors match way better than um, that other darker piece that I had. Put this little bird here. I'm trying to think if I want like a word. I do have these pieces right here that I could use that are already out. That more in frame. All right. I had done no pre planning. You saw this whole thing come together. And I really just got home at eight o'clock. So, um, I'm looking for two that go together so I could do one and then the other. out here. I'm reading them in my head. I could be reading them out loud, but you can read. You can see. Um, it's almost like I need an and. Do what you love and choose to shine. I wonder if I have an and sticker. Let me grab one of my sticker books. Sometimes these have, especially in the back, symbols. Those are all numbers. There's literally a sauna up in here. And the air conditioner was on all day. I'm just quickly trying to find if I have an AM sign. I know I've seen them before, but I need it now and I'm not likely to find it. Um, just do a quick flip through on this one and if not, I'll grab the other one and then I'll give up. Mm -hmm. Maybe I've used it. I know I have used one, but I feel like there was more than one in here. B, we're almost at the beginning. A. N no. Okay. This one real quick. I know I 
I seen them. I'm probably flipping faster than you can see the pages. I know what I'm looking for. And I could pass it. Sometimes, you know, you look through these, or I look through these, and I start thinking about something else and forgot what I was looking for after we start looking. None of these are it. Doesn't look like I'm finding it. Maybe there was only one. Guess you can just say and in your head. I'm not going to give up. I'm almost at the end now. Here's the alphabet. Maybe it's in these pages. D, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Maybe it's at the back of this one and that's where I should have started. Because I know there's symbols somewhere. No. Well, okay no symbol. Oh my goodness. You probably were screaming this. Live your life. Where'd it go? Full of wonder. Jeez. I guess I just needed that extra time. to see that. There we go. Well, what time are we at? 28 minutes and a full spread. And again, it's like one of these school record books and I think it's somewhere around 1920, nine-ish, some year, a few years before and years after. There are some photos in here that are I saw one, one of our, look at that. And they cut their heads out. I don't know who they are. Um, but yeah, that's kind of creepy. But that's it. That's the collage for this week. Um, the first one was this more masculine style, Tim Holtz. And this one is a more feminine style, but I love it. It's perfect. So I hope you enjoyed this, just a quick collage for the holiday in Monday, and I will see you on Wednesday for Margaret Miller. Have a great night. Bye.